going to start the new chapter flower you know what is flower flower is a modified modified part of a shoe now this flower divides the plant into two parts let us see how let us move here this is a structure of a plant this flower part is called reproductive part and the remaining part of the plant is called vegetative part so it is divided into two parts now when flowers are present in a cluster on the top on a single stem then it is called inflorescence but if single flower is present on the top of the plant then it is called solitary flower now which are the parts which are present in vegetative they are leaves shoot and root now let us see structure of flower flower is divided into two parts essential parts and non essential let us see what are essential parts it consists of androecium the male part of the flower which is made up of stamen so this is androecium blue color second is gynoecium that is female part of the flower which is made up of carpel so this is gynoecium let us see what are non essential parts they are corolla which are made up of petals that is leaves and the green color calyx which is made up of number of sepals in some of the flowers you can also see another calyx so it is called apicalyx so they come under non essential part some other parts of the flower are pedicel which is called sac so the flower which is having will be called as pedicellate flower if this pedicel or sac is absent then the flower is called sessile this all the parts are present on the receptor tip we also call this as a helena now what is a complete flower the flower which is having all the four whorls is called complete flower then what is incomplete flower the flower in which only three whorls are present in which androecium can be absent or sometimes gynoecium may be absent now what are these whorls whorls we have already seen they are androecium gynoecium sacral and calyx these are four whorls now in this we should know what is unisexual flower bisexual flower and mutual flower unisexual usually means one so the flower if it is having only androecium as the male part of the flower or it is having only stamen then it is unisexual if flower is having only gynoecium or female part then it is called Going to study actinomorphic and zygomorphic. In actinomorphic flower, if you cut the flower from any plane, both the sides are equal or mirror images. Then such type of flower is called actinomorphic. So they can be divided into many vertical planes. Zygomorphic flower, if you see, this is pea flower. It can only be cut on one plane. then only both the sides will be equal if it is cut in other planes both the sides are not equal 
then such type of flower is called zygomorphic example pea flower now let us see four world the first world of the flower is called calyx this calyx actually we can say is made up of many sepals if these sepals are joined in cup like structure then it will be called as gamosepalous if these calyx or sepals are free like rows then they will be called as polysepalous the second whorl of the flower is called corolla corolla is made up of many petals here also if all the petals are joined forming a bell shape of a flower then such type of petals are called gamopetalous example petunia if petals are free in such cases that is this is how the petals are free then such flowers are called polypetalous example is your china rose then comes the third whorl the third whorl of the flower is called androecium which is made up of many stamens or single stamen now what is this stamen actually this is the structure of stamen which is having filament and anther so these are the anther lobes here in flowers we will see cohesion of stamens that is different type of stamens also so let us see some different type of stamens this is mono adelphus in mono mono adelphus you will see these are anthers and this is here filament so anthers are free on the top but filaments they join in the center and form one bundle tube such type of arrangement is mono adelphus then comes di adelphus in this two bundles are seen one is the group and one is single this is di adelphus third is poly adelphus in this you can see two to three bundles of the stamen and last fourth one is syngenesious in this you will see all the anthers are joined on the top they are united but filaments are free this is in sunflower now let us move to the structure of pollen grain we know that pollen grains are present in anther so suppose this is the anther as you can see this is whole anther if you open and see you will find two pollen sac in each anther lobe so these are two anther lobes inside two pollen sac and inside them are two pollen sac which contains large number of pollen grain pollen grains are minute dust like particle structures if you see the structure of pollen grain single under the microscope you will see that it is made up of two membranes outer one is exine and inner one is intine outer one as you can see is thick having tough and spinous growth also the second one blue color in time is very thin and it grows out as a pollen tube when it stuck to the stigma of a flower inside this pollen grain you will see two nucleus are also present now at regular intervals there are germ pore also germ pore are the pores through which the pollen tube will come out now let us study types of stamen here the first is digenomous in this there are two long stamens blue color and two are short stamen example is tulsi so total four are there but two short and two long in tetradynamous there are six stamens in which four are longer ones blue ones and two are short this is seen in mustard flower now there are two types of addition of stamens these are apipetalous in some of the flowers this is a petal on the petal this particular anther is stuck is joined so it is called apipetalous here filaments attached to the petal while in gynandrous this stamen is attached to the gynoecium that is the carpel so this is called gynandrous let us move to the fourth world 
the fourth one is called gynoecium known as pistil also this is the innermost wall of a flower it can it can cons it consist of one or more carpels if you see the structure of carpel or gynoecium it is made up of three parts you know ovary style and stigma what is the function of stigma it receives pollen grain the function of style which is neck like stigma is attached to it and ovary is a swollen part which contains ovules also known as embryo cell now there are variation in the carpels also so let us see first is monocarpellary you know mono means one so pistil have one carpel only example p then bicarpellary means pistil have two carpels example mustard then polycarpellary type of flowers in which pistil have many carpels example is rose now when here free carpels are called remember apocarpus and here also example is rosier sometime wholly or partially these carpels can be fused such type of condition in a flower is called syncarpus now let us see three types of flower in which condition depending on the position of the thalamus or we can say depending upon the position of floral leaves on the thalamus with respect to the other parts like ovary the first is hypogynous in hypogynous flower you will see that first of all this is the thalamus which is slightly convex on this you will see ovary which is present on the highest position on the thalamus then comes stamens petals and sepals they all are present just below the ovary such type of arrangement is called hypogynous type of flower let us see what is perigynous type of flower in this you will see the thalamus has become little bit curved it has become cup shape and it is surrounding or around the ovary we can see ovary is little bit inside at the tip of the thalamus you will see the stamens petals and sepals are seen or grown this type of arrangement is called perigynous type of flower or ovary third is epigynous in epigynous you will see the thalamus have completely covered the ovary so it has become cup shape and closing the ovary actually here and at the rim at the tip of the thalamus you will see stamen petals and sepals have been grown here so we can say they have grown above the ovary example is sunflower and cucumber such type of flower is called epigynous thank you